This is your KCTV 5 News Update. Tonight, a woman is facing numerous charges in connection with the crime spree that happened on KCK yesterday. 22-year-old Alyssa Ariola is being held in Kansas City, Missouri right now. The charges against her include second-degree murder, attempted first-degree murder, aggravated battery, aggravated burglary, and theft of a firearm. Now, these charges are in connection with a series of crimes. It all started when a car was stolen from the Legend shopping area, and it gets worse after that. Police tell us Ariola stole three guns. A man was shot and killed, and an elderly woman was stabbed. Today, that woman who was stabbed remains in the hospital. The man who was shot and killed has not yet been publicly, publicly identified. Tonight, Missouri Governor Mike Parson has issued an executive order that opposes President Biden's plans for a federal COVID-19 vaccine mandate. It bans state agencies from imposing a vaccine mandate or requiring one from businesses or people it works with. In his statement, Parson said, we can support vaccination without supporting mandates. We are issuing this order to protect our system of government and the individual rights of Missourians to make their own health care decisions. Steady rain, steady temperatures right in the upper 40s all the way through the evening. Unfortunately, that rain doesn't taper off till about mid morning. There's even a chance for patchy drizzle till noon and temperatures never recover again on Friday with highs working up only to about 49 degrees. Storm track five forecast track. Here's that never ending conveyor belt of rain pushing through Kansas City. You can see by Oh, just about sunrise Friday, it's still raining, but it will taper off. And again, I think midday is when most of that's going to happen with another half inch. Yeah, that's possible coming. Here's your Halloween forecast Saturday evening. Beautiful, clear skies, but temperatures cooling to about 47 by 9 p.m. And then Sunday, it's even colder, 46 at 7 down to about 40 by 9 p.m. And that's going to be followed next week by the coldest air so far this season, Monday 36. Maybe a little bit of patchy frost, more widespread frost Tuesday at 33, Wednesday 34, and Thursday down to freezing right at about 32 degrees. Stay warm and enjoy the next seven days. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.